Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 4 to power x plus 4 to power x, this is equal to 16. What is the value of x? Now, let's prevent the solution here. We are going to solve this exponential equation. To solve this exponential equation by applying method, two methods. Let's start with method one. So we have 4 to power x plus 4 to power x. This is equal to 16. So we find that 4x is common here. So we can factor out 4 to power x. So that here, 4 to power x divided by 4 to power x, this is 1. Then plus 4 to power x divided by 4 to power x, this is 1. This is equal to 16. So this implies that this is 4 to power x times 1 plus 1, this is 2. And this is equal to 16. So this implies here we have 4 to power x. Let's divide both signs by 2 from here. So that now 4 to power x is equal to 16 divided by 2. This is equal to 8. So 4 to power x, this is equal to 8. We can express 4 as 2 to power 2. And we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So this 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 means that this is 2 to power 2 raised to power x, and this is equal to 8, which is 2 to power 3. So we have 2 to power 3 here. Now, 2 to power 2 raised to power x, this is in the form of a to power n raised to power m, which we can express as a raised to power n times m. Let's apply this exponent property so that now this is 2 to power 2 times x, this is 2x, this is equal to 2 to power 3. And given that the bases are common here, that is a to power n, this is equal to a to power m, this implies that the exponent n is equal to m. So from what you have here, this implies that 2x is equal to 3. So let's divide both signs by 2 here. And also here by 2. And this means that x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is the value of x by applying method 1. So let's apply method 2 as far as. By applying method 2, we have 4 to power x plus 4 to power x is equal to 16. And given that 4 to power x is common here, we can factor out 4 to power x. So that here we have 1 plus 1. This is equal to 16. So this implies that here we have 4 to power x times 2. This is equal to 16. Now, let's divide here by 2 and also here by 2. So that now, this is 4 to power x. This is equal to 16 divided by 2. This is 8. So we have 8 here. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm, that is log 4 to power x, and this is on both sides, so this is equal to log 8. Now, you find that log 4 to power x, this is in the form of log a to power n, which we can express as n log a. So applying this power root property of logarithm, then log 4 to power x becomes x log for this is equal to rog 8. So let's divide both signs by rog 4 and also here by rog 4. So this means that if you simplify here, we have that x is equal to rog 8 divided by rog 4. Now from here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3, and we can express 4 as 2 to power 2. So this implies that x here is equal to rog 2 to power 3 divided by rog 4, which is 2 to power 2. Now, applying the power rule property of logarithm, that is rog 8 to power n, 
This means we can express this as n rog a. Let's apply this property so that here rog 2 to power 3 becomes, now this is x is equal to, now this becomes 3 rog 2 divided by rog 2 to power 2, which becomes 2 rog 2. So let's simplify here, rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies, so that now the solution is 3 over 2. x is equal to 3 over 2 by applying both method 1 and method 2. So the next step here is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify here. Now, if you recall, we have that 4 to power x plus 4 to power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. Substituting the value of x, which is 3 over 2, so we have 4 raised to power 3 over 2 plus 4 raised to power 3 over 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. We can express 4 as 2 to power 2. So this implies that 2 to power 2 multiplied by 3 over 2, then plus here we have 4 again, which is 2 to power 2, raised to power 3 over 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. So from here, let's simplify here. 2 and 2 simplifies. So this means that we have 2 to power 3 plus 2 to power 2 times 3 over 2. So we simplify here. So this is 2 to power 3. And this should give us a value of 16. Now, you find that 2 to power 3, this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2. And this is equal to 8. So this implies here we have 8 plus 8. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. So therefore, 8 plus 8 is 16, which is equal to 16. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x, which is equal to 3 over 2, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.